All right, what's good, big dogs? Welcome back to the HQ. I just wanted to cover a topic real quick that's come up over the last couple days uh, that I'm getting a lot of questions about, and that is LaShawn McCoy, Shady McCoy. Apparently slapping around his girlfriend a little bit. Don't do that, people. That is not a good thing to do. You don't hit women, ever. You respect them. You love them. Buy them nice things. Unless you find a real good girl and she's buying you nice things, that's when you know you keep them. Back to McCoy. Listen, there is no telling what's going to happen with this situation. He's not found guilty yet, guys. He's going to have to go to court, probably, because the charges are very, very, very serious. If you're unfamiliar with what I'm even talking about, a girl on Instagram, actually, it was a friend of a girl on Instagram, basically posted these pictures of her friend that was in the hospital with a battered face. She looks like she just got out of the ring with Floyd Mayweather. And in the caption was a huge piece of text saying that this is what LaShawn McCoy did. And then he go, the, the girl goes on to accuse him of beating this girl, beating his dog, taking steroids and doing drugs. A lot of wild accusations along with his kid too. So crazy, crazy, crazy things that happened in this, in, in this Instagram post. Now, LaShawn McCoy came back and basically said that he denies it and all this stuff is false and he hasn't been in contact with this girl for months. And basically I, what I believe the backstory is there was a home invasion one night at where this girl is staying. And I don't, I don't remember the details of whether or not this was actually Shady's house somewhere. I think it was in uh, Atlanta or Florida or whatever. You know, this is more for fantasy football. I don't really know the details of the exact attack. Someone came in and beat the shit out of this girl and then was like, I want this jewelry back. And uh, the reason the girl thinks it, they didn't see Shady like face to face and know it was him. But the reason they think it was him was because apparently for the last few months, Shady's been trying to get these specific pieces of jewelry back from this girl. And then the thief came in, beat the shit out of her and was like, I want that jewelry back. So they think they know it's Shady. The problem here is this, even if he's innocent, even if it wasn't him, right? Even if it was someone else who did it or if it was a coincidence and it wasn't him whatsoever and he wasn't even involved, this is what's gonna happen, guys. We've seen something like this play out before. He will probably be put on the commissioner's exempt list, just as we saw with like Adrian Peterson, right? There's a very, 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 very good chance that McCoy is not allowed back on the field until all this is settled. Who knows how long that could take? There's a good chance that this is it, that this is done. He did, however, which I think is kind of funny, hire the lawyer of Ray Lewis's lawyer, defended him, when he was charged of, of murder. It was someone else too, another famous football player for another case, I forget who it was. But Shady hired this lawyer, so he got that lawyer, he got that funny money to hire the good lawyers. Who knows what's gonna happen? The thing is, even if he's found innocent, even if he goes through the court and they prove him completely innocent of it, Goodell's gonna step in and do whatever he wants, as he should, to be honest with you. In this situation, you shouldn't let Shady back on the field because you don't know the facts, you don't know what actually happened. So that's what's gonna happen, which is why you can't touch Shady McCoy in drafts right now. Stay away from him in best ball leagues, stay right away from him if you have your your draft right now there's no point in taking that risk he was already a bus candidate for a lot of you guys so this shouldn't be too difficult for you guys to skip on him the second running back in line they did sign chris ivory this offseason now chris ivory absolutely does not just step into shady's place and, and put up that type of production chris ivory is not the same pass catcher that lashaw mccoy uh, has been and, and receptions and receiving yards have been such a heavy piece of the fancy production that McCoy has given us over the last few years. So Chris Ivory's ceiling is nowhere near as high as McCoy's is obviously, and he's going to be running behind a shitty O line in a bad offense uh, that doesn't project to score a lot of points. They're a team that's projected, I think, to win like six and a half, maybe six games by Vegas. That probably pushed down now. People are probably going crazy on the under. Uh, Chris Ivory is the next guy up, and he's someone who could find his way into a flex spot. If Shady's out, right, if Shady's out for six weeks, eight weeks, 12 weeks, the entire season, who knows? Chris Ivory could, just by pure volume, be a, a flex option for people that are somewhat desperate. So I'm, I'm not above taking Chris Ivory in the later rounds. Uh, I definitely wouldn't reach for him because this is going to be a situation where we might see Ivory end up with, like, they're not going to be in good game scripts. So we're going to see Ivory off the field, probably a decent portion if they're not going to use him in the passing game. He could end up with like, you know, a lot of games where he go, rushes like 11 times for 40 yards or if, if, if he can even be that efficient, 11 times for 40 yards, maybe catch like two balls for 11 yards, something like that. So it's going to be a lot of games like that. I wouldn't necessarily think that he's going to get anywhere near the workload that Shady's going to get. That's kind of my, my take on the situation. Don't draft Shady right now in any leagues because regardless of whether or not he's innocent, uh, there will be punishment from the league just for being involved in this. He will probably be, I can't say this with a certain certainty, but he'll probably be put on the commissioner's exempt list until this is sorted out so you're probably not going to get a shady anywhere my personal take are uh, if you're asking whether or not he's going to is he a good late round flyer i mean i guess you could do it if if he drops like really really late in drafts i feel like someone will probably take a chance in your league on him by the seventh or eighth round i'm not willing to do that because i feel like this is this doesn't look good this doesn't look good for shady and i'm not gonna say he's guilty i'm not gonna say he's innocent nothing like that will let 
let the big facts only speak in court. But I guess if he drops into double digit rounds, okay, you could do that. But I honestly, I have a hard time seeing him getting back on the field this year. But that's just my opinion. I could be completely wrong on that. I just want to get that out there because I'm getting a lot of questions for it. So I'll see y'all in next whatever episode. Hey!